is brought to bear on the body of Christ. Praise the Lord. There is nothing glorious in living a sinful lifestyle. Mm -mm. The following Bible passages speak volumes about God's hatred for sin. Psalm 104, verse 35 says, Let the sinners be consumed out of the earth, and let the wicked be no more. Isaiah 3, verse 11 also says, Woe unto the wicked, it shall be ill with him. The other side of it says, Say it unto the righteous, it shall be well with him. Wouldn't you rather that it is said of you, it shall be well with you, than it shall be ill with your enemy? For the reward of his hands shall be given to him. Every work that we do, whether good or bad, you will be rewarded accordingly. It's becoming so appalling these days that people are so money conscious. People don't even care anymore how they get rich. You begin to wonder, are you taking this money to heaven? A 70-year-old will go and slaughter human being. Where is the conscience of man going into? It's like the whole world has gone into how what I call the, 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 the brain has been removed and the devil had just deposited some wickedness inside it. I say, everybody begins to live in wickedness. And the truth is, if we have one man that is righteous, standing and speaking against the sins, if you start from your family, from your very self, let me say, I start with myself. And I begin to inculcate it in my children. And by the grace of God, they listen. And my children go out, they begin to in, uh, exhibit that attitude. And they have influence their friends positively. The world will change. But the truth is, we have become the same as unbelievers. There's hardly no difference. There's hardly any difference. We are all the same. When we are seated in their midst, we are enjoying their company. When they do something wrong, we applaud them. Someone that doesn't have a job comes here with the best car. And what do you do? Oh boy, you're going good. You applaud. Show me the way. May God help all of us in Jesus' name. It says here, finally, Hosea chapter 4, verse 7 also says, As they were increased, so they sinned against me. Therefore, will I, charge their, will I change their glory to shame? May the Lord not change our glory to shame. May the Lord not change our glory to shame. There are Bible passages. I actually want each and every one of us to go back and look at it. I looked at, actually, I had studied this before, but someone has given me another dimension, isn't it, as I'm presenting it to the church this morning. I remember I studied this in the course of the week. And <laughs> most of the things I'm seeing, I'm seeing them quite differently. And that's the Holy Spirit of God. What you study today, you might see it from one dimension. When you're looking at it again, it's another dimension. I'm glad that God is bringing this away this morning. Each and every one of us. Let us be the light. Let us make that difference that the world desires so badly. The world has gone cuckoo. Very, very bad. And sin has become the end thing. Everybody is enjoying living in sin. Will you make that difference? Will it be that light? God's view of sin and his judgment against sinners is clearly revealed in the above Bible passages. Hence, separation from God, which is spiritual death, termination of life, which is physical death, condemnation to eternity in hell, which is the second death, and other terrible consequences. Is it any wonder that we have all manner of diseases coming up that are defying all manner of uh, treatments? Cancer is on the rise. Ebola was there. COVID-19 has come. It's now omni you know? Omnipro, omni, whatever. I said, I thank God I have omnipotence. Because the sin of men, the, 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 if, I don't know. Somebody will say it's not only in Nigeria, but seriously, I don't know. I'm so scared. And the anger of God has been leashed out on the world. Because sin has become a lifestyle and Christians are not shining as the light that we are all supposed to be. That is why the consequences are becoming almost unbearable these days. And that is the Lord wants us to know here that all that terrible consequences await everyone living in sin in this world. After they would have died, they are still going to face the judgment of God. 
He says, I am therefore appealing that you come to Jesus today and be converted so that you may receive help to stop living a sinful life. Every one of us seated here, we need help. We all need help. When we see sin, we laugh. When we see bad things, we, that was, I don't know. Please, I beg. I, mean, I don't know, Jerry. Before I begin to talk things that I'm not supposed to talk. But please, this calls for self-appraisal. It's called for self-examination. Because when we looked at the other party living in glory, we are supposed to be the light of the world. We are supposed to make a difference. When you see something that is wrong, that does not work with the word of God, feel free to condemn it. Yes, people will laugh at you. People will tell them, ah, you are in the old fashioned, you are old fashioned, you are this, you are that. But say your own. Because the Bible says that if you see your brother committing sin and you do not tell him, he says that when the judgment is being visited upon that brother, you will partake in that judgment. He said, but if you tell him, and when he's being judged, he said you will be exonerated. That's the truth. So when you see someone committing sin, living a sinful lifestyle, and the person is enjoying it, you are not telling the person that what the person is doing wrong. You will partake in that person's judgment. Whether I like it or not. So let us be lights indeed, and the salt of the earth. Praise the Lord. In today's Bible reading, the woman seemed to know that coming to Jesus would, would transform her life positively. She was unwavering in her pursuit of the Savior. And in return for her seeds of love, she reaped mercy and pardon, which each and every one of us requires this morning. The mercy of God. Whoever comes to Jesus shall not be disappointed. He says, come to Jesus today. What I just want each and every one of us to do this morning is to just go before God. That's just a prayer. And ask God for mercy. You probably would look at yourself, that's okay, I don't, I'm not a sinner, but please ask God that wherever you have overlooked sin, let God have mercy on you. Let's just pray that prayer and ask that God, Father, please set me totally free from sin by your grace and mercy in Jesus' name. Let us a prayer. Father, please set me totally free from sin by your grace and mercy. My Father, my God, in the name of Jesus, I pray this morning, O oh God, that your grace and mercy will help me, O oh God, to live above sin. I acknowledge that I am weak. I acknowledge, O oh God, that I'm feeble. I acknowledge, O oh God, that I have failed you in many ways. This morning, my Lord and my Father, I come with a repentant heart. I ask that you show me mercy and let your grace, O oh God, uphold me to the end. That, Lord, on the last day, I will not be a castaway. Ah, let it not be said, but she preached, oh, ah, she was calling the name of Jesus, oh, Father, let me not be a castaway in the name of Jesus. And I pray for your church this morning that Jehovah, you help each and every one of us, O oh God, to live up to your standard. That the Bible will be in there, O oh God, our watchword. That your word will be a lamp unto our feet and a light unto our path. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Abba Father. In Jesus' name, we have prayed this morning. Let somebody shout hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise Jesus. We thank God for his word that uh, he gives us every day. And uh, my prayer is that uh, we will not only be hearing these words and not take action and not do something about what we hear. I mean, one thing is to hear, another thing is to put into practice what we've heard. So I pray that God will help us, will give us the grace to do that which we have heard, because that which we, are he we have heard, they are the words of life. Amen. They are the words of life. Mm -hmm.